位同学，大家好，欢迎收看《商用英文二》的课程，很高兴跟大家见面。我是今天的主讲老师邱怡慧 （Florence）。我们欢迎我们的助讲老师 Jeff 来到节目之中。Welcome to our program, Jeff. Thank you for having me, Florence. Today, everyone, we're talking about getting a good job. Now, I've been in Taiwan for about ten years, and I've been teaching English here for ten years. And every once in a while, a student comes up to me and says, "I think my English is good, but still, how do I get that good job? That job with..." A nice salary and good benefits. Oh, how do I get that good job? I don't want one of these bad jobs. I want a good job. Well, lucky for for all of you that have this question, we'll be answering it today. Yes, today we're talking about getting a good job. 好，我们上个星期已经了解了应征到好工作的时候常见的一些面试问题，应该要怎么样回应。我们这星期还要看更多的例子。我们现在就请 Jeff 老师来帮我们念一下课文。Okay, let's talk about questions. Questions about your school experience. What courses did you enjoy the most? This is one of the common questions that your interviewer may toss at you to find out what you are passionate about. List a few courses that you really enjoyed during school, and be sure to explain why. 好，我们看一下里面的单词 toss. Toss, 抛丢扔 Passionate, passionate, 热情的 Explain, explain, 解释。好，我们看一下这边的话是说有关于你的学校经历的问题。好，我们最常见的问题是你最喜欢什么课程？好，我们呢看一下，这边是说，这是面试官可能会向你抛出的常见问题之一，以便了解你对什么事情充满热情。记得要列出一些你在学校非常喜欢的课程，并且务必要解释一下为什么喜欢他们。我们看到这边有一个用法，就是 be sure to explain why， 就是说解释一下为什么喜欢。好，接下来我们再看下面一题。What would you say was your role in your school community? And this is an important question. They don't want to hear that you've spent your entire time of college there or in college there in the library. They want you to be a part of the community and add to the community at your school. Anyways, what would you say was your role in your school community? The only problem with this question is if you weren't involved enough. But if you were a class president or a captain of the football team, here is a great time to point that out. Maybe you tutored other students who were not doing so well academically, or you won an award at the science fair. These things show that you are willing to be involved in school activities. 好，我们看一下单词。Community, community. 社区，社会。Involve, involve. 参与。President, president. 会长，主席。Captain, captain. 队长。Tutor, tutor. 辅导，指导。Award, award. 奖品。Fair, fair. 博览会展览。好，我们来看一下这段里面的内容哦。他说呢，你认为你在
学校的社区中扮演的角色是什么呢？我们看到这个问题呢，唯一的疑问就是说，你可能参与的不够，但是如果你是班长或者是学校足球队的队长的话，这个时候就是应该要点出这个经历。好，我们看到片语的部分 ，point out 就是点出的意思。好，我们继续看，也许呢，你帮助了其他在学业上表现不佳的同学，或者你在科学展览上获奖，这些事情呢，都可以显现出你愿意积极的参与学校的活动。我们看到有一个片语哦，就是 be willing to。就是愿意的意思。好，我们接下来再看一下下一个问题。Okay, let's talk about questions about your interests and activities. Here's a really common question as well for a job interview or for interviews in general. Where do you see yourself in ten years? This interview question is basically asking you how college fits into your long-term plans. Try not to give vague answers or say, "Uh, I don't know." 好，我们看一下单词。Basically, basically. 基本上。Fit. Fit. 适合，符合。Vague, vague. 模糊不清的，不明确的。好，我们看到这个问题呢，是说关于你的兴趣还有活动的问题。那我们最常见的就是十年之后，你看你自己是在哪里呢？那这个问题，这个面试问题呢，基本上是问你大学的学习如何变成你的长期计划的一部分。我们在这边可以看到 ，long term 就是长期的意思。我们尽量不要给出一个含糊的答案，或者是说我不知道。含糊的就是 vague 这个字。我们在这边是说，建议你不要给一个含糊的答案，就是 vague answers。好，接下来我们再看下面的课文。Now, if you know for sure what you want to achieve, then explain to the interviewer in detail. But if you're not sure, you can always say something along these lines. I don't know what I'll be doing, but I know I want to work with people. In college, I'm interested, or I was interested, in taking classes in sociology and psychology to learn what some of the options are. Now, this type of answer shows that even though you may not know what you will be doing. At least you've thought about the future. 好，我们来看一下单词。Achieve, achieve. 达到，实现。Sociology, sociology. 社会学。Psychology, psychology. 心理学。Option, option. 选择。好，我们看到这一段是说，如果你确定你想要实现什么样的事情的话，那么就很详细地向面试官解释。我们可以看到，在这边有个片语的用法，就是 in detail， 就是详细地这个意思哦。但是呢，如果你不确定，你总是可以这样说的：我不知道我要做什么，但是我愿意和别人一起工作。我在大学的时候有兴趣选读了社会学，还有心理学的课程，以便了解未来的发展的可能。这样子的话，就意味着，即使你可能不知道自己将来要做什么，但是至少你已经考虑过自己的未来。我们看到，即使这个用法就是 even though， 还有呢，另外一个用法是至少，就是。At 
least. 好，我们接下来看一下下面一个问题。What questions do you have for the interviewer? Now, too often people will say, "No, I I think you've answered them all." This is a huge mistake. By asking good, constructive questions, you show the interviewer that you have done your research and also that you've taken time to think about their work. 好，我们来看一下单词。Huge, huge. 巨大的。Constructive, constructive. 有建设性的。好，我们来看一下这段的意思哦。你有什么问题想问面试官的？好，我们看到这边呢，他解释说，很多的时候人们都会说不，我想你已经回答了所有的问题，这是一个非常大的错误。透过提出好的，还有有建设性的问题的话，可以向面试官表明了你已经事先做了一些了解，并且呢，你已经花时间考虑过这个公司的工作了。我们在这边有提到 ，you have done your research， 这边的话就是说已经花时间研究过这家公司的意思。好，我们接下来看下一个问题。Hmm. So you want to work here? Why? In this situation, people are asking you questions about your interest in working at that company. Why us? Why not another company? So on, so forth. So let's talk about questions about your interest in working with some company. Why did you want to apply for this position at this company? So on and so forth. The following answers are not likely to impress the interviewer or your interviewer. Don't say these things. One, I think I can make more money from your company. Big no-no. You could also say. Your company is convenient and close to home. Again, a big no-no. You're just picking that place because it's convenient to you. Then you could say something like, "My、uh, friends told me to apply." So you don't care about our company. You're just listening to your friends. Bad responses, folks. Bad responses. 好，我们来看一下单词。Impress, impress， 给提升的印象。Apply, apply， 申请。好，我们看到这边意思是说，你为什么想要争取这个工作呢？我们看一下以下的答案呢，是不太可能是给面试官留下深刻的印象，所以就是说都是不好的答案。首先呢，第一个是说，我觉得我可以从你们公司赚更多的钱，这是不好的回应。好，再来呢，你可以说，贵公司交通方便，离家近，这也是不好的。好，再来呢，第三个，你如果说我的朋友鼓励我来应征，这也是不适合的答案。好，我们接下来看下面一段。More about these bad answers. The reason is that although your future salary is important, that's true, you don't want to come across as a materialistic person. The interviewer is probably hoping that, other than peer pressure or convenience, you have chosen to apply for the job. Because you want to pursue your passion, you're not doing this for anybody else but you. 好，我们来看一下单词。Materialistic. Materialistic. 实利主义的，唯利主义的。Peer. Peer. 
同柴 Pressure. Pressure. 压力 Convenience. Convenience. 便利性 Pursue. Pursue. 追求好，我们来看一下这段的意思哦。就是说，虽然你未来的薪水很重要，但是你不想给人家一种感觉，就是现实主义的感觉哦。所以面试官可能会希望，除了同辈的压力或者是便利之外呢，你应征这份工作是因为你想要追寻你的热情。好，我们接下来再看下一个题目。嗯 ，So。How does a college degree help you to find a good job? Good question. This is another way of asking you, what have you learned in school, or what are you passionate about? So instead of saying,、uh, I don't know. <laughs> Instead of saying you don't know, however honest that reply may be, it's better to give an answer that shows you've thought about the options and that you have some ideas regarding which direction you'll be taking. 好，我们来看一下单词 Honest. Honest. 诚实的 Direction. Direction. 方向。好，我们看一下这一题哦。这边是说大学的学位如何帮助你找到一份好的工作。好，这句话呢是在问你说你在学校学到了什么东西呢？或者是说你对什么充满了热情？它这是用另外一种方式呈现。因此呢，与其说你不知道，无论回复的是多么的诚实。不如告诉他们，你已经考虑过一些东西了。比方说，未来呢，你想要如何的发展？所以，我们看到这边有个用法，就是 instead of， 就是与其怎么样，不如怎么样。所以，在这边是说，不如呢，就说说已经考虑过了一些选项了。好，我们接下来再看下一个题目。Next, let's get into work history. You might hear this question: How long have you been looking for a job? Now, your interviewer may ask you this question in order to find out whether or not there is something wrong with you, and if other employees have picked up on it. Yeah, you've been out of a job for ten years. Why? What's wrong with you? What have you been doing wrong? 好，我们来看一下这边的单词。Look for. Look for. 寻找。好，我们看到了在工作经历的部分啊，常见的问题有：你找这个工作找多久了呢？我们看一下这个文法的部分，因为从以前到现在都还在进行中，所以呢，我们是用现在完成进行式的，就是一个用法 have been 再加动名词的一个用法。所以我们看到你的面试官可能会问你这样子一个问题：你了解了是否有问题，或者是其他的员工是否发现了一些问题？我们在这里看到是否的用法，就是 whether or not。在这边的话是用 whether or not there is something wrong with you， 就是说看看你是否有一些问题。好，接下来我们再看一下课文的部分。So your interviewer is looking over your resume and finds a gap. What happened in that gap? Why were you unemployed? So, a good response to this question may be: After I resigned or left or quit my last job, I took the opportunity to take some time out to examine my career goals. This way, you're answering the question, but. Also, giving a positive reason 
as to how you utilized your time. Response. Response. 回答回复 Opportunity. Opportunity. 机会 Examine. Examine. 检查细查 Career. Career. 生涯职业 Goal. Goal. 目标目的 Utilize. Utilize. 利用好，我们看到这边的意思是说，一个好的回答呢，可能是在我辞掉了上一份工作之后，我借这个机会呢，抽出一些时间来检讨我的职业目标。这样子，你就可以回答了这个问题，也给出了一个非常积极的理由，表示说你充分利用时间。我们看到辞掉上一份工作的话。就是 resign from my last job. 借此机会的话，我们是用 take the opportunity to do something 这样子一个用法哦。这边我们可以看到，利用机会，花点时间检视自己的职业目标。所以我们可以看到 take some time out 就是花点时间的意思。好，接下来我们再看下面一个题目。Okay, another question you might hear is this: Could you summarize your work history for me? I've got your CV, your resume in front of me, but I want you to tell me about your work history. So, even if you have given your interviewer a copy of your CV, chances are. They'll still ask you about your work history, so give them a short summary of each job, including the names of the companies you worked for, your job title, your starting and ending dates of employment, and how much you earned and what your job entailed. Chances are. Chances are, 很有可能 Employment, employment, 职务工作 Earn, earn, 赚的。好，我们来看一下，这边意思是说，可以为我总结一下你的工作经历吗？我们看到总结的话，就是 summarize 这个字哦。即使呢，你给你的面试官一份你的工作简历。很有可能，他们仍然会询问你，呃，有关的工作经历。所以呢，我们看到即使的用法是 even if， 所以就给他们每一份工作的简短的摘要，包括了你工作的公司名称、你的职位、你工作的开始还有结束的日期、你赚了多少钱呢？以及你的工作需要投入哪些事情？好，我们接下来再看一下应该要怎么样回答呢 ？So your response might sound something like this: From 2004 to 2009, I worked as a music producer at Jam Records. I inspired, assisted, and guided the artists. Helping them reach their full potential, my monthly salary was about forty、uh, to forty-five thousand dollars per month. Producer, producer, 制作人 Inspire, inspire, 鼓舞激励 Assist, assist. 帮助、协助。Guide, guide. 指导。Potential, potential. 潜力。好，我们看到这边意思就是说，你的回答应该像是这样子哦。从二零零四到二零零九年，我在 Jam Records 担任了音乐制作人。我不但激发了、协助，还有指导艺术家。帮助他们充分发挥潜力。我的月薪大约是每个月四万到四万五左右
。以上呢就是一个回答的例子。接下来我们来做片语用法的练习。我们再请 Jeff 老师来帮我们看一下选项还有题目。OK, the next sentence is actually a question. It says, "How has that event shaped the way you blank?" Others and yes, there are going to be two words in this answer. We talked about communication and expression earlier, so you would want to ask something like this: How has that event shaped the way you communicate with others? Before you flew off the handle, now you're more patient. That's a good example of that. Then the next sentence says. If you blank, ask questions at the end of the interview. They might interpret that as you not being interested. So ask questions. If you don't do that, if you fail to do that, well, that could be a bad thing for you. So you probably shouldn't blank. Say, well, I don't understand that question. Yes, at the end, you can emphasize your strengths, and you can also ask some questions and say, I didn't understand this or that. You have your you have your moment to shine here, so take the opportunity, ask questions. Don't be afraid to say something like, well, I don't. Understand that question. Anyways, next we're going to talk about ooh, getting angry and maybe flying off the handle here. Yes, they don't want to know that you flew off the handle. That's the question there, and you had a very negative response. Yes, this is a is a phrase. It's quite long, so let's show it. Break it down here. You. Fly off the handle. That just means you lose your temper. You temporarily lose control, get angry, so on, so forth. Okay, now two more sentences to go for this page. Don't blank. You have to answer immediately. Okay. Sometimes people put a question to you. And you might stammer or stutter, and you might not know what to say. So don't feel like you have to answer immediately. You can always take a step back and say, "Hey, let me think about this. That I don't know how I feel about this right now." Yes, if sometimes you blank and answer right away, you might head down a road. You don't want to go down, and yes, there you go. Fill in the blank with the phrase "launch into." 好，那我们今天第五课的课程就讲到这边为止。我们不但了解了有关于应征的时候常常会问的一些问题，还有我们应该要怎么样回应。我们这边都有做一些说明，我们也希望同学能好好的回去再做一些练习。我们课程就到这边为止，谢谢大家的收看，我们下周见，拜拜。Bye bye